It's the Wednesday evening edition of the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video, Weather for Weather Geeks, here on the 22nd day of June 2022, uh, the first full day of summer. Summer officially began yesterday morning at 5.14 a.m., but it was summer from start to finish today, that is for sure, with the kind of weather that we have. We'll dive into some of the numbers, but first let's talk more about lightning. We've been talking about lightning this week because uh, nationally it is National Lightning Safety Awareness Week, and lightning tends to be very dangerous. and. Uh, Unfortunately, it tends to strike things, including people sometimes. Now, your individual risk of being struck by lightning, of course, not that high, but you can certainly and should certainly take uh, steps to mitigate that risk uh, during this time of the year when a lot of us are doing things outdoors. You may have heard of the five-second rule. This is a way to roughly determine how far away uh, lightning is when you hear thunder. And generally speaking, uh, the sound of thunder travels about a mile over the course of five seconds. So if you uh, see a bolt of lightning, count to five, and then hear the thunder, that means that uh, that lightning strike was about a mile away. But if you can hear thunder, that means you are indeed close enough to a storm to be struck by lightning because lightning can travel uh, far outside just the base of a thunderstorm. Sometimes we can get lightning strikes that travel from the top of the storm out into areas that aren't even close to the storm. We sometimes call that a bolt from the blue. Um, so, if you, again, if you can hear the thunder, then it's time to seek shelter. The speed of thunder varies a little bit on the density of the air. Of course, uh, warmer, more humid air is more buoyant and less dense, and the speed of sound can be a little bit higher. The speed of that thunder uh, can be a little bit higher in that sort of environment. When the air is kind of thick and dense and colder, the, the uh, speed does not, uh, it, it is not quite as high. And so there are some minor differences in the uh, the the time that uh, you can experience lightning and then thunder, depending on what the temperature is. All right, so uh, in this example, uh, sound dissipates as it travels outward. Uh, so sometimes it's hard to, to hear storms that are up to 10 miles or so away. It's hard to hear thunder from those storms, I should say. Um, but again... Um, lightning can travel farther than you think, and so it's something you got to take seriously, whether you're on the beach or playing golf or just working outdoors at this time of the year. All right, impressive numbers today. Got hotter than expected today. The dew point's a little bit higher than uh, maybe we bargained for as well, and so that created a heat index of unofficially about 104.5, which can be rounded up to 105. If this is an official number, um, it is, in the in the database I looked at, the hottest or the highest heat, ind heat index value we've experienced on record uh, in the month of June. We've had higher heat indices, but they've all been in July um, for June. This is pretty impressive stuff, and it's one degree higher than what we had a week ago today. We had, of course, a very hot day last Wednesday. We had 104 at the airport for a heat index during the hottest part of the day last Wednesday. The air temperature today, 94 degrees, hottest day of the year, and... This is only the second time since 2012 that we've had 94 degrees or higher uh, in a calendar uh, day. Um, we have not been at 95 or higher since July of 2012, but we hit 94 once back in 2020. We did it again today. Not record territory, the record 97 set in 1933. Boy, what is it about Wednesday? We had an 87 on the first day of the month, which was a Wednesday. 93 last Wednesday, 94 today. Wednesdays have been hot. Saturdays have been cool. We're going to break that streak, though, this weekend with a high probably around 90 coming up on Saturday. As expected, uh, thunderstorms erupted around the time we thought they would and in the places we thought they would, mostly south and east of the Youngstown area. Um, some rain gauges picked up some small amounts of rain. New Middletown on south and uh, down towards Glenmore, Calcutta, and southeastern Columbiana County, just north of Wellsville and east Liverpool. About a quarter of an inch from a heavy thunderstorm. We had a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings in that same area earlier on today, but the radar is quiet as of this recording. No more uh, rain on the radar probably until Sunday for our television viewing area. We've had some pretty impressive storms to our south and east, though. There's been a slew of severe thunderstorm warnings, including a pretty good swath of wind damage down here in, in uh, parts of Beaver County over towards uh, Allegheny County around the uh, Pittsburgh area. Uh, some radar estimates here of 60 plus mile per hour winds earlier on this afternoon. And severe thunderstorm watch still out from central PA down into parts of Virginia, the entire state of West Virginia, still in a severe thunderstorm watch, and we still have some counties in southeast Ohio and into Kentucky that are covered in a severe thunderstorm watch as of 7.07 p.m. 
But the air mass change has already begun in our northern viewing area, especially, pardon me, the uh, dew point at the airport has dropped down to 63. Now, it's still muggy, but when you consider the dew point was around 75 not that long ago, hey, this is not bad. Uh, Columbus had a dew point in the upper 70s earlier on. They've dropped down to 69 degrees, and as you can see, the dew points are even lower off to our north and west compared to 24 hours ago. Detroit, a 10 degree lower dew point, 11 Grand Rapids, 15 Chicago. We're going to see similar numbers around here, certainly on our Thursday. Not much to show you on Futurecast for the next couple of days. It is going to be just absolutely beautiful tomorrow and into Friday. And while Saturday will be hot, it won't be that muggy just yet, and it will be another pretty sunny day. So dew points over the next few days, kind of a non-story. Or if you if you want to frame it this way, a, a big story uh, compared to uh, where we were today. Um, by Sunday, the dew points start sneaking up, but you'll notice that is it for the next seven days. It's just Sunday that it's going to be a pretty muggy day. Tomorrow, Thursday, or uh, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I should say, all not that humid. And then in the wake of the next front, dew points 40s again early next week. So with air masses this dry, it's no surprise that we don't have many rain chances. And I've uh, started to see more and more comments about people's yards getting a little bit dry, getting a little bit brown, depending on where you live. Um, some of us have missed out on thunderstorms most of the last week or so. Some of us have had a couple of decent thunderstorms. But in general, the pattern has gotten drier region-wide over the last couple of weeks. And Sunday, cold front heads our way. Pretty decent chance of a scattering of storms in the afternoon. But will everyone get rain Sunday? I doubt it. But some of us will. That may continue into Sunday evening, but other than that, look at this. I mean, just not a lot coming our way over the next week. I got a question on Facebook earlier. What about July and August? Right now, I'd say odds are favoring July featuring below average precipitation as well. It's a little too early to have a, an inkling on August. But I think the middle of the summer could see an, a continuation of this generally dry pattern. If that were to be the case, we're going to have a lot of dry yards uh, during the uh, middle of the summer this year. That's it for me tonight on Weather for Weather Geeks. I'll see you back here on Thursday. Have a great rest of your night, and thanks for watching.